Next we're going to talk about CSS descendant selectors. Now there's two different kinds of descendant selectors. There's general descendant selectors or child selectors. So what's the difference? Well, if we look at the structure of any HTML file, you can see there's a parent-child relationship here. Inside the body tag, we have a header and we have in, and we have a main. I could have other tags at this level as well, but header and main are the only two that are one level down from the body. Not that they're on the next line, but they're nested, nested inside of the body. So header is a child, main is a child. The h1 and h2 are children of the header, and these three paragraphs are children of the main. Inside the paragraph, we've got a bunch of text, but there's also an anchor tag. This anchor tag is a child of the paragraph. In the second one, again, this anchor tag is a child of the paragraph. The anchor tags are not children of main. They're children of the paragraphs. They're grandchildren of main. So they're two levels down. And in this last one, we have an anchor tag inside of the paragraph. So the anchor is a child of the paragraph. But inside the anchor, we have a mark tag. That's what this highlighting is. We've marked this. And this mark is a child of the anchor. But it's not a child of the paragraph. It's a grandchild of the paragraph. It's a great-grandchild of the main element. And a great-great-grandchild of the body tag. So there's this tree structure where you're stepping down through multiple generations of tags just to reach the ones that you want. So in your CSS, when you're trying to target things like the paragraphs, the anchors, the mark tags, all these different things, you need to understand that parent-child relationship to be able to write the CSS properly. And if you want to get more specific to say, okay, I don't want to target any span that's anywhere in the document, it's only spans that are inside of list items, for example. Or, I only want to style the anchors that are direct children of my paragraph tags. So, this is how you write them, these two lines right here. If there's a space between two selectors, now these could be tags, they could be IDs, they could be classes, an ID and a class, you can mix and match whatever you want. But if there's a space in between, and only a space, that means you're dealing with a descendant selector. If you have the greater than sign between the two of them, that means you're talking about a child, and it can only be the one level down. So main space A, we're talking about anchors that are descendants of main. So they can be anywhere. If I put a style on here, that will apply to all three of these links because all three of the links are descendants. They are some level down, some number of steps deep. So we can come in here and let's say that we're going to do text decoration overline. There. All three links now have the line on top of them because we said all anchors that are anywhere inside of main. Doesn't matter how many levels deep. Here, if I said I want to style anchors that are children of main, well, nothing's going to happen regardless of the style that I put in here. I can come in and say font size 8 REM. Nothing happens to my page because there are no anchor tags that are direct children of main. We come down here and take a look. Paragraph, paragraph, paragraph. Those are the only children of main. So this style, nothing happens on this page. Now, anchors that are children of paragraph, well, all three of these are that. So we can say that our color, let's just make it orange so it stands out. There we are. All three of them. This worked. The anchors that are direct children of paragraph get this style. All three of them. Span. We don't have any spans in here. Let's do uh, mark instead. We do have a mark. So I'll put mark here for both of these. There we are. So marks that are anywhere inside of main. So there is one here. It's inside the anchor, which is inside a paragraph, which is inside of main. But it is a descendant. So if I come in here and I 
change the font size on this one to 2REM. There we are. It does target and style that. If I want to style marks that are direct children of anchors, again, we're talking about this one specific case right here. This one's going to work. And we can say that we want the color to be aqua. There we are. Okay, so we've got all these different things styled. Now, these last two right here, you may think that this one's going to take more precedence because it has this extra little thing right here, but both styles are targeting the mark. Both of them have two selectors, two tag selectors, so there's no difference in importance. If I were to come in here and put a color of red, we can see that doesn't apply. But if I change the order that I've written this, close that and I come down and place this below, there. The red wins out. These guys both have the same level of importance. So when the level of importance is the same, it means whatever gets written last, that's the thing that gets applied. It's the same as if I came in here and I said, colors green. There we are. The green is applied simply because it was written after it. Okay, so that is descendant selectors and a little bit about specificity and the order that the browser is going to apply this. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you found this useful, please share it. And as always, thanks for watching.